Now, okay, so hello, I'm Alejandro Peñero, I work for Egalia. And in this uh, presentation, I'm going, I'm going to talk about how we use GFSF Reconstruct and EpiTrace Trace for performance evaluation. So, when four years ago we started the Vulkan driver for uh, the Raspberry Pi 4, our first objective was getting Vulkan 1.0 conformant. And after that, we did a lot of work for performance. We made that more later, usually after each conformant. Uh, at 1.1 conformant and uh, getting 1.2 conformant, but was there when we did a lot of work on performance. So uh, at that time, what we focused uh, the performance work on Unreal Engine 4 samples. Uh, they were pushing a lot what the Raspberry Pi 4 was able to get. They were really generally GPU limited, and they were using really expensive shading. So that means that most of the focus of this implementation work, sorry, performance work, was done on the compiler. That has also the advantage that it also benefited the OpenGL driver. So this is rendered by the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the, uh, one of the original gene samples. So what the process at that time was, we get the sample running, we capture the cider code, we identified uh, non-optimal code stresses. We figured out what we could do to improve that. Implemented an optimization, and then we need to verify the, the outcome. We use we use CIDRDB, We use manual testing, and we also use GFSR reconstruct and EpiTrace. So those are tools that they uh, allow you to capture the calls to the API. So Vulkan Vulkan calls in the case of the GFX reconstruct or OpenGL calls in the case of EpiTrace. So here we have a port of DOM3 on one side and real engines in the other side. Uh, what was the main two main uses for these tools? One was visual checking for artifacts, because sometimes when we were doing some uh, imp um, improvement, we suddenly get some artifacts, but were not, in some cases, were not like, okay, everything is wrong, but like we were, you know, going in a, in a corridor and, for example, some flowers uh, or some lighting effects, instead of seeing it that correctly, have some blinking that were not correct. So we needed to uh, visually check in for that. Um, and having the traces allow us to just put in the trash to run and just we was looking for it. And we also use that for performance comparison between before and after the improvement using the, the FPS. Uh, we created an, a script for that, so we have all the traces in one directory, the script taking took all the traces from that directory, and we, with time, we started to add some parameters. Because, for example, uh, an average, we run these traces several times, and we got an average of the frames per second. Advantages. Uh, that made visual checking um, far easier, because the alternative was like putting the sample and started to, like, fake playing the game, going for corridors, and that was boring. <laughs> um, also, in the, in the CI, just in case someone is wondering, on the CI, there are some cases of having some frames and, and checking the outcome, but that was, as I said, that was not enough, because sometimes you need to, you know, go into the corridor, and it, the artifacts were not always in the, in the same in the same place. Also, the frames per second was really easy to understand. And at the beginning of our uh, performance work, it was evident for some specific uh, improvements to to see that it was a really improvement. The problems: uh, the frames per second is unreliable. Uh, stuff, for example, if you run the same trace with the same uh, things. Uh, sometimes you get a different value because uh, there is a lot of things that can affect the frames per second. And now that we w did it, this performance work, uh, getting the just with the frames per second, what if we get an improvement is minimal. So at this moment, we use this frames per second measure. We use that mostly at a sanity check. We improve, uh, we implement an improvement, and at least the frames per second shouldn't go down. Uh, well, this is the contact. Um, sorry for talking to, so fast, but <laughs> this is a lot of talk. So, see you. <laughs>